All right. By popular demand, I'm going to go over uh, how to install Arc DPS today and then how to set it up once you're in game. So the first thing you want to do is go to google.com or whatever you're using as a search engine. You're going to look for Guild Wars 2 Arc DPS, or you can go directly to here, www.deltaconnected.com. Click on the site. Uh, this is all worth reading, so maybe give that a once over. Uh, this explains how to use it fairly well. But you're going to scroll all the way to the bottom, go to download, click on here, and the file you want is D3. D9DLL. So click on it, give it a save, uh, then you're going to go open up your downloads file, right? Or open up the folder for it. And where you want to put this file is going to be uh, whatever your PC is, whatever your C drive is. This is for most people if you've installed Guild Wars 2 the uh, regular way or the recommended way. Uh, it'll be in your C folder. Then go to Program Files, not Program Files 86, just regular Program Files. Uh, then Guild Wars 2, and your bin 64. Uh, then all you have to do is drag it, drop it into the new one, and replace it if you already have one in there. Okay, once it's set uh, in your bin 64, that's it. So the next time you boot up Guild Wars 2, you'll have your uh, Arc DPS stuff ready to go. And you want to hit Alt-Shift-T. That'll open up the options for it. And you can open up as many of these area stats windows as you want. Those are going to be like your damage and cleanses and strips, uh, how many downs you've created, you know, all of the, all the good shit is in there. So uh, you have those up. You... Uh, can get up your self stats, which will allow you to see your damage output, your healing, uh, your barrier output, and self skills, which will uh, let you see your uh, damage and healing output along with anything that's incoming for them. So once you have them, wherever you like those windows, whichever windows you want to have open, this is how you uh, set them up. So you right click on the title for any of those windows, and you can set it up to uh, persist throughout the entire night. You can set it up to reset on everybody uh, on every fight. Uh, you can set up which stats to include, so you can exclude any stats against gadgets, which are like Siege, um, or against NPCs, you can get rid of those as well. Down here in Sort Advanced, uh, this is where the good stuff is. So you can look at your squad's current DPS out, DPS in, uh, the break bar damage you've put out, cleanses for your squad, the strips for your squad, uh, how far away from tag everyone is, how many kills each person's gotten, how many downs each person's gotten, and then you can put out like your average DPS. These are all pretty self-explanatory, uh, but yeah, you can open up a new window for each and every one of these if you so want it. In the tooltips, I definitely recommend having the names up, uh, the top skills. What that does is just when you scroll over someone's name, it shows you uh, what skills they've used that was most effective and which targets they've hit. Um, for display, you can choose the maximum name length displayed as well as the number of people displayed. So if you wanted to look at the top five people, you'd put five here for max displayed. If you wanted to look at the top 10 people, you'd put in, you know, 10 or 20, whatever. Uh, play, with, play around with it a little bit and you'll get an idea. For style, uh, the title bar refers to what it is at the top here, like damage, uh, strips, etc. Let's see, background gives you that black square, otherwise uh, it just kind of overlays over your current screen. I kind of like having the black square, uh, makes it easier to see the information on there. And position, you can either make it screen relative, window relative, or manual. The manual is kind of nice because it allows you to move these around to wherever you'd like them. And I believe there's a way to lock it in place as well, but yeah, it's in there somewhere. Uh, some other stuff you can do is if you click on the title again and you go to in, now this is all damage taken as opposed to damage that's going out. On uh, self stats, uh, you can open up your healing, your barrier. I would definitely put in cleave uh, and total. That allows you to see your total healing for the course of a fight. I know that's a, something that's popular for a lot of people. But, yeah. 
And then your self skills, uh, you can set it up for in, which is any skills that are hitting you. Uh, there's there's two settings here. So it, at default, it's your outgoing offensive skills. If you select in, it's the incoming offensive skills. If you select in and friendly, it's incoming healing skills, and which ones have healed you the most. And if you leave, uh, if you leave it as off, then it's off and friendly skills, which show the friendly outgoing healing skills that you're putting out. So, uh, useful for healers, useful for DPS. Uh, this is probably like the number one way to get better at Guild Wars 2. Uh, it's just to download Arc DPS. All right. And if you're interested in logging your performance over the night, so you can use like DPS reports or uh, any other programs to parse those logs, you want to select logging. And then here in log, you want to make sure you have save UETC. And under the world versus world logging setting, you want to have save EVTC logs on squad combat. So this is what you need for world versus world. All right. Hopefully that uh, helps a bit.